a record number of young people in China graduated from college this year. But instead of celebrating, some are marking the milestone on social media by lying down flat on the ground in their graduation gowns, looking dejected and exhausted. After studying for years, they're frustrated with the struggle to find decent work as China's youth unemployment rate hits historic highs. So for some, the better option for now is to stay at home as so-called full-time children. If you have a lot of idle young people who are not employed, it adds pressure on social stability, which is what the government really is concerned about. Here's why millions of Chinese graduates are out of work. The term full-time children has gone viral on Chinese social media. Videos show young people spending time with their parents, cooking and cleaning in exchange for a salary. They are choosing to stay at home full time. They are counting on their parents to continue supporting them financially. This is what many people are referring to as the lying flat phenomenon in China. Lying flat essentially means to resist the intense social pressure to study hard and work even harder. A record 11.6 million young Chinese graduated from college this year, almost 12 times more than 20 years ago. Students, they have much higher expectation for their job income, their job stability, and what they can derive by doing work. But the graduates soon found they're competing with thousands of others for only a handful of jobs that match their skills and expectations. Urban youth unemployment hit a record 21.3% in June. Joblessness in China increased dramatically in recent years, while other countries, such as the US, saw a spike in youth unemployment during the pandemic that rapidly fell as restrictions were eased. China maintained COVID controls for longer than most countries, keeping its borders closed from 2020 to early 2023. Major cities went through extended lockdowns that disrupted production. As the economy slowed, so too did hiring. China's youth unemployment rate rose for six consecutive months this year. Then in August, the government abruptly announced that it would stop reporting that data, citing plans to revisit the methodology. Analysts say the suspension fits a worrying pattern of haziness around the true state of China's economy. To address the youth unemployment problem, local governments ordered state-owned companies to hire more graduates. They're also pushing young people to take up blue-collared work, but that's unappealing for a lot of college graduates. A survey from online recruitment platform Xiaoping found that a quarter of this year's graduates want to work in the technology sector, despite the fact that some of China's biggest tech firms had massive layoffs following a regulatory crackdown on the industry. So unless confidence revive in those sectors, young college graduates will likely continue to struggle in terms of what kind of work they're looking forward to do. Down the line, having millions of young people out of work will have serious ripple effects for China's society. High jobless rate among young people also exacerbate many other structural challenges that China already is dealing with. For example, without stable jobs, many people are putting off getting married they don't want to have kids, and all these will make China's demographic situation even worse. Some are warning of a lost generation. It's adding to a long list of challenges for Beijing to boost growth and attract foreign investors as the world's second largest economy tries to rebuild from the pandemic.